That's all right. So I'm gonna give you three actual reasons of why you should not get into the boxer chemistry. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy. It's your boy, the one and only JJ. We're riding with the relatives, man. Hey, as y'all can see. I'm outside of, uh, I still ain't came up with a name for it yet, but look here, man. I'm outside of the truck right now. Uh, I actually just got through just double checking my um, compliance binder. I just want to make sure everything's a compliance, man. You know, these state troopers, man, they're going crazy. They're going crazy uh, during the month of May. I think it's between uh, May 17th and May 19th. They're doing some sort of like uh, state trooper blitz, whatever they call it. They got a specific term for it. I just can't remember it right now. But anyway um i'm seeing a lot more state troopers actually pulling over people within my city not just on the interstate and not just by the exits i'm talking about within the city they're pulling people over so uh cut this air on a little bit man y'all see me sweating it's hot outside y'all i don't know if it's hot we all at but it's hot down here in georgia but yeah man uh so yeah go make sure you double check in your compliance binders making sure everything's up to date nothing's expired make sure your license is good to go um you know, simple stuff that goes without saying, but occasionally we get so caught up in, you know, our work that we're not, you know, saying on top of stuff like that. So I just want to, you know, give you a, give you a heads up on that. Um, but yeah, man, uh, I got a couple things I want to talk with y'all about today, but I'm going to head back to the house first and then I'll start recording, I think. I don't know, man. Just come along for the ride. I know some of you all have actually asked me about where do you park your truck? As you can see out here, man, we got tr all these semi trucks out here lined up in the area where I keep mine. And of course you see my box just sitting over there chilling with the big dogs, right? Look here. So, uh, pretty much if um, your box truck, so let's say if you're, you're in my situation, right? So my driveway is big enough to hold the truck. However, there's a tree that is at the end of my driveway that there's no way I could make a good turn coming out of there. I've actually tried once and it didn't work out, right? Uh, I actually got it out of there without having to hit the tree, but it's just too much hassle, right? So for those of you who are looking for places there that you can park your truck outside of, you know, your home, um, you wanna, of course, there, there's probably the obvious answer like storage units, right? There's also a few stores here in my area and there may be some of your area as well that allow trucks to park there right for free you know it just depends on uh you know you probably want to communicate with the store first or you know you can chat with a few of the uh other semi truck drivers that are out there and ask them you know about the details of whether or not you could park there how long you could park there you know so on and so forth there's actually also a truck parking a uh, company here that just has a whole bunch of land and all they do is allow trucks to park there so you can uh see whether or not places like that are in your area and yeah simple as that you know just get out and ask people man get out make some phone calls and see who allows who to park where and that's the simplest solution to that uh you know you don't need you don't have to go out here and spend hundreds of dollars a month on parking when you can simply just you know figure out a couple places in your area that allow you to park for free all right so there's that i'll holler at y'all when i get back to the house for real this time all right youtube family i'm back at the house now man i'm actually glad to be here because it's way too hot outside i think it's about 98 today and when i was out there i felt every single degree but to briefly recap over what i was telling y'all in the previous clip be on top of your compliance make sure nothing's expired nothing's out of date because the dot is not playing any games uh, they're pulling people over within the cities now and, uh, you know, doing like DOT inspections. I saw a guy the other day getting an inspection in front of a steak and shake, literally in front of a steak and shake. He had the guy, the DOT officer had everybody, him pulling out his paperwork and everything. So anyways, uh, just be aware of that, stay on top of that, and you won't have nothing to worry about. <laughs> Boom. You probably already read the title and it's why you shouldn't start a box truck business. All right, so I'm going to give you three actual reasons of why you should not get into the boxer chemistry. Number one being, if you're easily influenced, you don't need to get into the box truck business, man. I'm telling you because 
what you might hear about the boxer business tomorrow will be completely different of what you heard yesterday, all right? So what you're gonna have to be able to do is, is take whatever information that people are giving you, dissect it, and then form your own opinion. What I mean by that is, too often I'm seeing people say, oh, uh, man, I'm trying to make that uh, $5,000 a week like they, uh, oh, such and such said that you can make. He said it's extremely easy. I'm not here to tell you whether or not that's right or wrong. What I'm here to tell you is this, if that's all you're basing it off of and you're getting caught up in the numbers, that's a form of influence. And I'm telling you, if you let that, if you let that be the main reason why you get in, it's terrible. You're going to fail and nothing's going to work out for you. I'm telling you right now. All right. There's a lot more that goes into it besides the money. All right. So you just, you just want to keep that in mind before you start this box truck business. Okay. Because it's not easy. There's nothing easy about it. You got to put a lot of work in. All right. And that actually leads me into my second point is you have to be willing to put the work in. So pretty much if your work ethic sucks, you do not need to get into the box truck business. And that's what any business in general, okay? Like, you're going to have to put the work in, all right? You're going to have to be willing to make 50 phone calls a day and hear nothing but no's. I'm telling you because it's happened to me. It's happened to me. But you can't get discouraged. You literally just have to make another 50 calls the next day or maybe later that afternoon and just keep it moving. Because I'm telling you, once you get that one yes, it's worth every no you've ever heard but if you're not willing to go through that don't get into the box truck business i'm telling you because when you, these are the people that you probably see on the internet that tell you that the box truck game sucks all right they they probably made their 50 calls they got a bunch of no's no absolutely no yeses then they quit and then they get on youtube telling me about why the box truck suck box truck game sucks well look here buddy that's part of work ethic you got to be willing to take the, the peaks with the valleys the ups and the downs you're going to have to be willing to record video ads to run on Facebook and Instagram, specifically when you're trying to get local work because people are on Facebook and Instagram all day long. But why would they call you to do a job if they don't know you exist? And uh, truth be told, uh, if you have like a decent phone, specifically if you have an iPhone, you shouldn't be paying anybody to do that for you. You have a, those phones are worth a thousand dollars for a reason. They have state-of-the-art video technology in them. They got state-of-the-art audio, state-of-the-art stabilization. Like literally use those, shoot you a quick, you know, maybe a one to two minute video hitting three points that you want these uh, local customers to know and just press send. Send that bad boy out and run the ad. Five dollars can get you in front of like 5,000 people. That's ridiculous. But if you're not willing to do those small little steps and make, you know, go out of your way to do things like that, then don't get into the box truck business. This isn't some uh, fairy tale magical land. All right. It's, it's literally it's a, hard, a lot of hard work, a lot of grit and a lot of time. OK, so keep that in mind. Now, I want you to hear me really clear on this next part. All right, because I don't want you to miss this. In some cases, and this all ties into work ethic, in some cases, you may even have to give or provide a service for free. No one wants to hear that. No one wants to hear it and no one wants to do it. But trust me, the ones that take, you have to really hear what I'm saying. You may have to perform a service for free. And I'll give you an example of it. You may have to say, hey, specifically for residential, not commercial runs, but I'm talking about residential loads, people that may want you to come. Hey, I got this couch that needs to be moved to this next location. Can you deliver it for me? Absolutely. For whatever it is. But what I'm saying is you want to perform that duty for free and you can do it for free plus tips for free plus tips. The point of that is to get you in front of as many eyes as possible. That's all it's specifically for. I'm not telling you to go out there and do this every day. I'm telling you, you might want to pick a day where you just go out and provide a service for free just for a day between, you know, a certain amount of time, make an announcement about it on Facebook. Like I said, you can run an ad. You can do this on Facebook. You can do this on Instagram, run an ad saying, Hey, you know, we're going to be doing, you know, free deliveries between this time and this time. Tips are greatly appreciated, but not required. Boom. You hit them with that. You just want to get in in front of as many eyes as possible. And there's no telling who you're going to meet. I'm not saying you're going to, you might lock in a contract that day or lock in consistent work that day, but at least it's an attempt. It's an attempt and it's uh, uh, showing some work ethic in order to get yourself some business and some traction. Okay. So 
once you hit that, once you get that traction, it's all downhill from there. I'm telling you, but you got to be willing to get creative. You literally have to think outside the box truck. That's a good joke for you there. I'm going to write that one down when I go on my stand up tour. But anyway, you have to be willing to do that. Uh, number three, if you can't communicate, you don't need to be in the box truck business or any business at all. Okay. You don't need to, if you can't network, you're not going to make it in this business. You're just not. All right, everywhere you go, you need to be handing out business cards. If you don't have a business card, you're already behind. And then as you're making these phone calls and handing out um, handing out business cards, making connections with people, you need to be keeping a file of all these connections. You don't want to you don't want to be like, oh, I did just talk to that one guy at the gas station who said he worked for some company. No, 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 no. You need to actually have specifics written down every time you come into contact with somebody. Cause that way you can, cause you're building your list of contacts. Okay. You're always building your list of contacts and contacts come in handy. You want to keep you a good file of contacts, but if you're not good with communication, you're not going to build a file of contact or build a file of contacts and you're not going to be able to be successful. All right. It's as simple as that. Okay. Uh, you know, shout out to my boy, Eric Thomas. Hey, you might want to throw you a box truck party. All right. While you out there handing, uh, business cards out to these different businesses and different companies, uh, especially specifically the guys who got box trucks. I'm like, hey man, look, uh, I see that you got a box truck. I see that you're local. Hey man, I'm throwing a little get together, a little kickback. Hey, feel free to come over. We got drinks, we got food, we got all that. And then when all them box truck owners show up, you can tell them to pull up in the box truck. When they all show up, like, boom, I fooled y'all. We actually having a box truck luncheon. Everybody that's here today, is on the top of their game and have local contracts. I'm just trying to figure out how we can all help each other. And y'all get in the room, your network, your fellowship, y'all get to talking. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. This right here, this is no joke. I haven't done this with the box truck. I haven't done this specifically with my box truck here yet, but I used to do this all the time when I owned my moving company. Let me tell you something, man. There's nothing like getting a bunch of minds in a room and y'all just have like a little mastermind session talking about, okay, look, man, you know, I've tried this uh, marketing strategy with my business. It's worked very well. Um, you know, I made this call. I said this. I put a spin on this sales technique. You know what I'm saying? Like you really have to be able to network and communicate and talk to people and uh, develop different strategies in order to make it in this business. The transportation industry is changing by the minute, by the minute. So you have to be willing to adapt and adjust to any type of environment when it comes to this business okay so uh i just wanted to leave y'all with that uh just give y'all something something to motivate you so i know usually i'm in here i'm laughing i'm making jokes and stuff on my videos but like as you know i just wanted to come in and just give you leave y'all with something tangible that's what that's what my video i want all of my videos that i put out from now on i want y'all to leave with something tangible something practical that you can utilize and go out into your everyday lives and try to make the best of your box truck business, okay? So, uh, with that being said, man, uh, I think I've already mentioned this before, but hey, if you need help, if you need help with, you know, getting some local contracts or, you know, Amazon Relay, that type of thing, hey man, just hey, go ahead and click you, book you a consultation. Um, I promise you, man, I'm going to put my all, my all into it, man. We can go over some marketing strategies, some business strategies, whatever you want to do within that time frame that you book, we're going to go over and we're going to hit every point, guaranteed. I just ask that when you book the consultation, I've, I've already had a few of them, uh, just make sure that when you come into it, uh, already have some of your questions ready for me. That way we're not, you know, you're not going on the fly. You're not wasting nobody because I'm not trying to waste your time. So just make sure you already got some questions ready for me. And then uh, after you ask your core questions, then, you know, we can go over uh, whatever else you want to do or whatever comes up after that. So just keep that in mind. Click the link below. Book your consultation. We're going to take care of you. All right. So as usual, man, like, share, subscribe. Appreciate y'all watching and uh, keep watching. Because I'm coming at you almost every other day with these videos. And there's one more thing I wanted to say. Mm. Oh, yeah. Wow, wow.